Assalamu alaikum uh, friends uh, today in this video I'm going to quickly show you how we can retrieve the values from different sheets for example I have this data set uh, on sheet 1 and my aim is to bring the department column from all the other sheets looking I don't know where this ID is on these three sheets my aim is to check and the sheet 2 first then sheet 3 and then sheet 4 so uh, if I write simple VLOOKUP I can only look uh, one uh, a sheet at a time and I won't be able to fetch the information from the other sheets so it is simply not going to work in this way so what I am going to do is I am going to wrap the VLOOKUP function in if error function which will allow me to add another VLOOKUP uh, uh, if it finds an error in the first one. So let me do in the first uh, VLOOKUP I just started if error then uh, immediately started VLOOKUP and A2 is my lookup value. This is my lookup table and the fourth is my and I want uh, fourth is my column and, and from where I want to bring the data and uh, false is for an exact match I close the first VLOOKUP and then now the formula is asking me for value if error so here what I can do is I can insert another if error function and then wrap it up in another VLOOKUP and look for A2 again and then on sheet 3 here I'll lock it up again and then my column is 4 and sorry this is a2 is my lookup value this is my table array 4 is column and false is exact match and now as I have only one sheet left so I need uh, I can wrap it up uh, in another if error and let us do it a2 again is our lookup value and now on the last sheet for false and if it doesn't find in any of the sheets what I want is uh, doesn't exist on any sheet so let's read the formula again so we look up on the if error we look up the uh, look up value and then the sheet 2 then again if error and we look up it uh, you only have to separate it with a comma and insert another if error function what if error does is if it uh, reach it, it uh, if in the formula we are wrapping it up it results in an error the if error functions uh, function allows us to either display some text like i did in at the end or we can insert another function so what i am doing is if the first we look up results in an error I am inserting another if error and VLOOKUP function and then if the second, the first and second both result in, in an error, the third uh, if error and VLOOKUP function will work and if none of the VLOOKUP functions will retrieve a value and all of them result in an error, the if error function, uh, function allows me to uh, show a text which I have inserted in double quotes. So here it is. Uh, we have checked, and uh, I'm just going to drag it down, and let's see what happens. Here we go. It has uh, retrieved the information from sales uh, tab, from uh, sales tab, from marketing, from HR, and if it didn't find anywhere anywhere on those sheet it just uh, put the text I have inserted in here so this is how we can wrap it up with a error 
but if you have x lookup you don't need to have the if error uh, function trapped it up you can simply uh, look it up within the uh, within the x lookup function you can wrap another lookup fun x lookup function so uh, the first argument is uh, lookup value the second is the lookup array this is my lookup array then this is my return array and now here if not found if not found we can wrap it up uh, with another uh, x lookup function and simply insert the next one A return array for the second one keep locking uh, the ranges because if you do not lock the ranges uh, uh, it will just uh, keep moving down so your formula will not result uh, accurately so just keep in mind you have to lock the ranges for example i'm just selecting this range and it is showing a1 to a7 but if i press a4 uh, sorry f4 it just locks it down so once it locks it down it means uh, the cell references are absolute and we don't uh, so, uh, we don't need to do anything they won't change they will uh, stay the same now here as i have done for all the uh, sheets and now i can insert the text for, uh, after the last lookup not found on any sheet So this is how we can use the XLOOKUP function. Uh, we just have to wrap another XLOOKUP function where it shows if not found. If not found means if this is an NA. For example, if I just press F9 on this, it is an NA. So which means uh, the first XLOOKUP is resulting in an NA. So it will go to the next one and run this one and if even this one uh, returns an NA it will go to the third one so let's check this one what it results in it is resulting in sales so the formula will stop here uh, once it finds a value it would stop there so this is uh, how you can uh, check uh, uh, simultaneously uh, multiple sheets and retrieve the values let me know if you have any questions and I'll be thankful if you consider subscribing my channel. Thank you.